an important conifer disease that most conifer growers need to know about is called diploidea tip blight or used to be called seropsis tip blight. Diploidea is a tip blight and not a needle casting disease because it infects and causes symptoms at the same time. Needle cast diseases infect and cause symptoms a year later. So a tip blight is infection and almost immediate browning of the needle tissue, dying and death of the needle tissue. Diploidea is found on scotch, red, and Austrian pine. It's a uh, very uh, symptomatic. Basically, the infection will take place at the tip of the newly emerging soft tissues of the pine tree. And they will curl, uh, usually upward or downward slightly, as they become infected. Uh, the fruiting bodies of the fungus are, can be found on the needles. Uh, quite frequently, uh, they're kind of hidden and you have to go to the base of the needle. Or, more often, it's found on the pine cones. So a lot of times people and growers don't recognize the fact that picking up the pine cones in a pine forest is actually beneficial because you're reducing inoculum of diploidea. Most inoculum comes from the pine windrows. So if you're growing young pines, the spores of the diploidea will come from these older trees. The pine cones on them or under them will be supplying the, the fruiting bodies that produce the spores. So it's important to get sprays on at the right time, again, usually at about the time that the tissue is breaking bud and it's soft. It can also cause a canker disease and it can actually start to move into the branches and kill entire branches. Once those entire branches die, then borers will come in and the tree will go into a rapid decline and basically it started with the diploidea infections.